Now, the Kenya Chess Federation chairman, Bernard Wanjala, has announced plans of hosting a two-day championship this December after players missed in action since the outbreak of the coronavirus. Wanjala has urged the government to consider a resumption of contact sporting activities as all directives to curb the spread of COVID-19 will be adhered to. It's uh, unfortunate that chess is among the sports that were not allowed to resume, but we have requested the ministry uh, to share with us the consideration they used to uh, review our position and of course appeal so that at least chess can be allowed to resume and uh, allow us to host one of our biggest events annually, National Chess Championship, which we look forward to host in December. Moving on, the Los Angeles Lakers ended a decade-long wait for a 17th NBA title as they beat the Miami Heat 106-93 to seal a 4-2 series victory. The finals' most valuable player, LeBron James, posted a triple-double, scoring 28 points, 14 rebounds and 10 assists with both Anthony Davis and Rajon Rondo, adding 19 points. By lifting the trophy, the Los Angeles Lakers tied at the Boston Celtics for the most titles by a single franchise, each with 17. The Chicago Bulls and the Golden State Warriors have the next most championship banners, both with six.